Welcome back to Quantum Yogi Wisdom. On July 5th, you'll have the extraordinary opportunity to immerse yourself in a life-changing cosmic event, the first new moon after the summer solstice. In this video, I'm not just telling you about the five things to avoid during and as you get closer to this Cancer new moon on the 5th of July, but also the reason behind it. So please feel free to share this video with your loved ones and consider liking and subscribing to our channel. This will help the YouTube algorithm to share this video's reach to a maximum number of people who need to see this message. If you're struggling to manifest something, here's some good news. The period from the summer solstice on June 21st to the winter solstice on December 21st is highly potent for your manifestation journey. Any inner work you do during this time will reflect in your physical reality very quickly. If you're looking for a manifestation ritual to perform during the new moon, I've already made a video on it. You can find the link on the screen or in the description. There's a common belief that a new moon brings bad luck or negativity. Well, that's only a half-truth. During events like the new moon, especially the first one after the summer solstice, we only receive amplified energy from the universe that helps us create and enhance things. But it's our thoughts and feelings that shape our reality. If you believe something bad will happen, it will happen. And if you believe something good will happen, it will happen. The universe isn't sending negative energy to us. Instead, it's our perception, influenced by what we hear and experience, that shapes our reality. By harnessing the increased creative energy of this new moon, we have the power to bring about both positive and negative outcomes through our thoughts and actions. If you stay in a high vibrational state, you will receive high vibrational results amplified into your physical reality. Similarly, if you stay in a low vibrational state, you will receive low vibrational results into your physical reality amplified. Let me know in the comments by saying, no matter what I will stay high vibrational, especially during the new moon. Our physical world exists through the balance of polarities, day and night, sun and moon, good and evil, summer and winter, masculine and feminine, positive and negative, and so on. Every universal law that governs the planets also governs you. This means that everything that happens outside our Earth has a direct impact on us. Now let's turn our attention to the polarity of masculine and feminine energies. When we refer to masculine and feminine, we're not discussing gender. Male and female are simply the physical expressions of these energies. In the same way, your conscious mind, subconscious mind, and even day and night are manifestations of masculine and feminine energy. This is why the sun is linked to masculine energy, while the moon is connected to feminine energy. From June 21st to December 21st, nights grow longer while days become shorter. This period sees a peak in feminine energy, as the extended nights symbolize the dominance of this energy. That is why every full moon and new moon during this period is extra powerful, especially the first one after the summer solstice. To avoid manifesting negative outcomes during this sensitive period, it's important to cultivate awareness and consciously choose thoughts and intentions that align with positivity, growth, and well-being. Practices like mindfulness, gratitude, and self-reflection can help redirect our focus toward higher vibrations, thereby fostering a more positive and enriching experience during this phase of increased receptivity. So here are five things I want you to avoid as you approach the new moon, on the day of the new moon, and for the two days following it. The first thing you should avoid is ignoring your intuition. Ignoring your intuition during the new moon can impact your spiritual growth and personal development. Intuition, also known as our inner guidance or gut feeling, is a powerful force that provides insights beyond logical reasoning. During the new moon, when cosmic energies are strong, our intuition is often heightened, making it a great time to pay attention to it. Our intuition acts like a compass, guiding us toward choices that are best for us. It helps us understand what feels right and what doesn't. Ignoring our intuition during the new moon can lead to missed opportunities, bad decisions, and feeling disconnected from our true selves in the universe. When we ignore our intuition, we might make choices based only on outside pressures like societal expectations, fear, or ego-driven desires. This can lead to regret, confusion, and feeling unfulfilled. By listening to our intuition during the new moon, we can gain valuable insights and guidance that help us find clarity and align with our true purpose. There are many ways to strengthen and honor our intuition during the new moon. 
Meditation, mindfulness, and spending time in nature can help calm the mind and tune into our inner wisdom. Journaling, reflective writing, and creative activities can also help us access deeper intuition and uncover subconscious insights. Check out our video on the new moon ritual to learn more. The link to the video is available in the description. Additionally, paying attention to signs and symbols that appear during the new moon, like repeated numbers or meaningful encounters, can provide guidance from the universe. In the comments, let me know if you frequently see repetitive numbers like 1111, 888, or 666. By trusting our intuition during the new moon, we invite more flow, synchronicity, and alignment into our lives. We become co-creators with the universe, navigating our journey with grace, wisdom, and authenticity. The second thing you need to avoid doing during this new moon is engaging in any sort of conflict. Engaging in conflict during the new moon can make tensions and misunderstandings worse. The strong energies of this lunar phase can heighten emotions and make interpersonal issues more intense. Conflicts often stem from misunderstandings or unresolved issues, and these can become more pronounced during the new moon. The new moon is known for increasing emotional sensitivity, making people more reactive and prone to emotional outbursts. This can cause conflicts to escalate quickly, leading to hurt feelings, damaged relationships, and lasting discord. The strong emotional energy of the new moon can also cloud judgment and make rational thinking difficult, making it harder to resolve conflicts calmly and constructively. Instead of addressing issues with a clear mind and open heart, people may react impulsively or defensively, worsening the situation. Conflict during the new moon can disrupt the natural flow of energy and harmony, creating disharmony not only in relationships, but also within oneself. The new moon is a time for new beginnings and setting intentions, making it a good time to release negativity and cultivate inner peace. Engaging in conflict disrupts this process, prolonging negative emotions and hindering personal growth. To avoid conflicts during the new moon, practice mindfulness, emotional awareness, and compassionate communication. Reflecting on your emotions and triggers can help prevent reactive responses and promote empathy and understanding toward others. The third thing you need to avoid is neglecting gratitude. Gratitude is one of the fastest ways to raise your vibration. Neglecting gratitude during the new moon can diminish our ability to harness the abundant energy and blessings available during this powerful lunar phase. Gratitude means acknowledging and appreciating the blessings, abundance and experiences in our lives, both big and small. When we neglect gratitude, we fail to recognize the richness and abundance around us, leading to a sense of lack, discontent and disconnection from the flow of universal energy. During the new moon, cosmic energies are heightened, making it a great time to amplify our gratitude practice. The new moon symbolizes new beginnings and setting intentions, making it an ideal time to reflect on the blessings and achievements in our lives. By expressing gratitude during this time, we align ourselves with the abundant energy of the universe, opening the doors for even more blessings to flow into our lives. Neglecting gratitude during the new moon can also create a barrier to manifestation and abundance. Gratitude acts as a magnet, attracting more of what we appreciate into our lives. When we focus on lack or dissatisfaction, we block the flow of abundance and manifestation. By cultivating a mindset of gratitude during the new moon, we create a positive feedback loop where our appreciation for the blessings in our lives attracts even more abundance and fulfillment. Moreover, neglecting gratitude during the new moon can hinder our spiritual growth. Gratitude is a key part of spiritual practice, fostering humility, connection, and reverence for the interconnectedness of all life. When we neglect gratitude, we miss the opportunity to deepen our spiritual connection and cultivate a sense of oneness with the universe. Practicing gratitude during the new moon can take many forms, such as keeping a gratitude journal, expressing appreciation to loved ones, or engaging in acts of service and kindness. By consciously cultivating gratitude during this auspicious time, we enhance our well-being and abundance and contribute to the collective upliftment of humanity and the planet. The fourth thing you need to avoid is harboring resentment or grudges. When we hold on to these negative emotions, such as anger, bitterness, or hurt, they become magnified during the new moon, intensifying the emotional turmoil within us. Such emotions lower our energy 
and because of this, we attract only low vibrational results into our physical reality. The impact of harboring resentment or grudges extends beyond just our emotional well-being. It can create a barrier to inner reflection and personal growth, which are essential aspects of the transformative energy of the new moon. Instead of embracing the opportunity for introspection and self-awareness during this cosmic event, we may find ourselves consumed by negative thoughts and emotions, hindering our ability to align with the transformative energies of the eclipse. Furthermore, harboring resentment or grudges creates energetic blockages within our being, disrupting the flow of positive energy and lowering our overall vibrational frequency. These negative emotions act as obstacles to healing and growth, preventing us from fully embracing the potential for positive change that the eclipse offers. Rather than allowing ourselves to be weighed down by these burdens, it's important to practice forgiveness and release the grip of resentment, allowing the transformative energies of the eclipse to flow freely through us. The fifth thing you need to avoid is listening to sad songs that remind you of someone. During the new moon, cosmic energies are intensified and everything, including our vibrations, is amplified. This means that both our high vibrations, such as feelings of love, joy, and positivity, and our low vibrations, such as sadness, fear, and negativity, are heightened during this time. While music can be a powerful form of expression and catharsis, repeatedly listening to sad songs that remind you of someone from your past can lower your vibrational frequency. When we listen to sad songs that remind us of someone or evoke memories of past experiences, especially on the day of the new moon, it can lower our vibrational frequency. The amplified energies of the new moon can intensify the emotions evoked by these songs, deepening feelings of sadness, longing to go back to the past, or nostalgia. Let me know in the comments if you do this on a daily basis. When we immerse ourselves in these emotions, especially during a powerful cosmic event like the new moon, it can further lower our overall vibrational frequency. This can impact our ability to harness the transformative energies of the new moon for positive growth and manifestation. Instead, consider exploring a variety of music genres that uplift and inspire you, or listen to affirmations fostering a more positive and empowering mindset. Engage in activities that bring you joy and allow you to create new memories, rather than dwelling on the past through sad songs. By consciously choosing music that elevates your mood and energy, you can raise your vibrational frequency and cultivate a greater sense of emotional well-being. So these are the five things I want you to avoid during this new moon. Doing a manifestation ritual on the night of the new moon can be highly beneficial to your manifestation journey, which I have shared in the previous video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your loved ones. I will see you in the next video.